All right, so what I've decided is that I'm going to make Lothaldrin a vassal. If I make him a vassal, he'll be able to train his own Noldor troops and he'll end up getting like 10 to 20, maybe even more, I don't know. So I'm gonna give Lothaldrin Almera Castle. Yeah, so that'll be another Lord that will help us in our conquest of Pandora because I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move on to Mara's castle right now. We're gonna have everyone return home and just kind of regenerate up their units. All right guys, so I pretty much plan on beating the game today if I can. This stream will last maybe like six or seven hours, I don't know. But I'm thinking we can conquer the rest of Pandor in seven hours. I don't know if it's gonna be possible, but I have a lot of tools that will help me. If you guys have been watching my stream, then you'll know that I've been constantly killing uniques. Yesterday I did farm a bit in Noldor, not many. I was going to farm as many Noldor trade goods as I have Qualys gems, but that's just not really looking like it's gonna be possible. Like the the drop rate is relatively good if you have a very small party size but i don't really have the best type of units to be able to make a small party size and kill Noldor. and i also have a lot of companions well now i let lethaldrin go so i have nine companions actually one of them's training the troops so i have eight companions but anyways i just have too many companions and it's making it just too hard to farm Noldor trade goods so what i decide is that we're going to use three Noldor trade goods with the qualis gems to make it a Noldor, and then the rest of our qualis gems we're just going to dump in a Noldor. Noldor trade goods end up giving you extra units so if you end up just using qualis gems you end up losing couple units but whatever it's all right okay so we're at 15 relation with the Nolar because i let 14 of them go so that's where we're heading right now we're going to go up to laria which i should be able to see hopefully because i did actually i think you need 30 relation maybe i'm at 15 relation right now but i don't think that's enough i'll dump 15 more of them hopefully 30 relation will be enough to unlock elcry again there it is okay so i guess it is 30 relation i talked a lot of trash to them basically and i lowered my relation with them oh there's another tournament going on right now okay i'll just do it all right, Erender, we're gonna hire a crap load of troops, my friend. We're gonna take some Twilight Knights, I think, but we'll take Rangers and Twilight Knights. Now we only either get 12 Noldor Rangers or four Twilight Knights. I think I'll take four Twilight Knights. Twilight Knights don't die to anything, I don't think. They're too tanky, like they have 112 HP and their armor's too good. One thing I did find out though, is the Noldor Rune armor is actually pretty much the same as Twilight Knight armor. For that reason, I think we're gonna take the Rangers. I don't think Maiden Rangers are actually that good. I don't think their armor is very good. I'm gonna take the Noldor Rangers. They do have horses though. So if you're trying to fight in like skirmishes and small battles like that, uh, I think the Maiden Rangers are better, but I think the regular rangers are better in sieges all right we're all out of qualis gems but look at our army we have 174 noldor rangers 37 maiden rangers we got five twilight knights six nobles and 11 warriors with 174 rangers i think this should be enough to just completely wipe out all of pendor hopefully within the next seven hours so that's what we're gonna try to do today alistair makes for a really good vassal so i think i'm gonna give him a piece of land and just turn him into a vassal as well i will lose out on his six trainer skill but other than that i think i'd rather just have an extra like 200 units on the field all right so yeah Walvin castle is under assigned to anyone i will give alistair walvin castle okay another thing i can do as well is i can improve the quality of the rangers of clearing call i have like 88 of them i think it's worth it to do this so the only thing is is that if i do this it improves the strength of all the rangers of clearing call even if like my enemies have rangers of clearing call but i don't think a lot of them do and increase their strength agility by two and their weapon proficiency by 20 i think we'll do this a few times so it's 20k gold now to do it and the next time it's 40k gold all right so i'm gonna do it again and i'll do it one more time for 80k i would just raise their weapon proficiency by 80 i believe and their strength by eight and agility by eight it only raises the range of the clarion call stats it didn't raise their sergeants okay so we got a pretty stacked army we got a bunch of noldor and then we got a bunch of rangers clearing call and so here's their stats now they almost have 500 archery and they have 83 hp i was just gonna wait and upgrade my order troops but i honestly think i can conquer the entire map literally like today because i have so many noldor i don't think i'm gonna worry about order troops on this playthrough i actually am thinking about doing another playthrough though after this one this one was really grindy like look at my in game days i'm on day 1200 that's a lot of in game days like i could have probably been where i'm at or i could have probably been in like a really good place like in half that amount of time if i end up doing another playthrough i'm gonna try to like just cut the amount of days played down here's a thaldrin so he's got 11 noldor warriors one noldor maiden ranger and two noldor rangers why is this guy what's this guy doing we're just gonna follow alamar into battle i guess oh i forgot to grab the mercenary company oops okay alistair might not be able to come yeah, Alistair can't come yet. Stop flirting with Alistair, Lydia, and you're coming with me. So two of their lords just entered Janos. Oh my god. Janos has 1,977 people there? Okay, we're not doing that. We're just gonna go over to Oregar Castle. They have 500 people here, almost. Alright, we'll just go for this one. It's only a ladder siege. Oh, we got another lord here. Somebody else just showed up. I think that's Alistair. Oregar Castle siege. We're going in. We need it way closer. My god, this is a long freaking walk. Dude, what is going on here? We just walk in? This is the weirdest castle, dude. Why is their gate thing open? This is a really weird layout, dude. So, oh, well, the ladders are over here? 
Whoa, this is so weird. Why are they not shooting? Okay. Um, no one wants to shoot their arrows, dude. It's like a Twilight Zone siege. I don't know what's going on. We're charging in, I guess. Screw it. We're just getting pelted with arrows. Like, I don't understand what is going on. My units will not shoot them. They will not use their freaking bows. I don't get it. Nobody is shooting at these guys. Are they not there? They're there. Is there a wall? There's no wall or anything. An invisible wall. Maybe there's a bit of one. It's really freaking weird. This is the weirdest castle. Wait, we can get our Noldor up here, maybe. Up on the top of this thing. It's not a good vantage point. Oh, yeah, dude. They can snipe from up here. Oh, this is a perfect spot. They just keep going up there. And then they just keep getting pounded by arrows, like, nonstop. I need to separate them, actually, into different groups. Because, like, I can put a group up there on the top, tippy top. The problem is, like, this girl has arrows. See, like, her little quiver. And... She's in the back. A lot of units that like don't have arrows are in the front. This castle thing has really weird collision. Like if you look at these guys, they're literally standing in midair. All right, so overall we lost one Twilight Knight. Oh, we don't have any Twilight Knights. We lost a Ranger. So Serene is actually good. I'll give it to Serene. Oh, I haven't sent out Serene for the right to rule quest. Maybe I'll do that first. I don't understand why Yanos has 1977. That 1977 is literally just the castle itself. It doesn't count everything else that's in the castle. Like, it doesn't count the Lord's parties as well. So it's got like a good 2,400 people in it right now. We're gonna try to take Walden Castle. Oh God. Oh no. All my Lords are over at uh, Oregar Castle. Are they running for me? Oh, they're running. We get in here. Oh, they ran. Ravenster declared war against Raymond. Okay, we're having everyone go home, I guess. Larry's been besieged. Oh god, okay, we're going to Larry, boys. The rain from Whiteside Castle have assembled a war party. Oh yes, we want the war party. 236 custom troops. They might have a shield soon, actually. Marmon wants the tango. They have 285 units. We have 366 Noldor, pretty much. All right, well, we won. We didn't get a single casualty. My weekly cost is 60,000 dinars with this army. I think, honestly, the plan at this point is we just gotta, like, blitz mode. Maybe we just take it to Ravenstern and we just go for their entire everything they got. I would also like to grab some other lords, too. Maybe they're at the tavern. Donovan's at the tavern. <laughs> what kind of luck is... Ow, Jesus, God. What the... I got mauled by two guys there. Pirate assassin. Not a very good assassin. Oh my god, the Noldor sword is just insane. Okay, this guy will try to attack me, I think. What about Adiz? He might be a good lord. Adiz is a benefactor. Oh, he's good. Okay, we'll take him. We'll just take him as lord. Screw it. Oh, Frederick's here too, dude. Frederick has like special units. He's not a noble, but we'll just have him and Adiz just kind of chill. I can keep them at my party and they probably won't run away. Even if they do try to run away, 10 persuasion has a 90% chance of keeping them in the party. So I think I can just keep them in the party until I capture another castle and I can give it to them. Oh, Frederick's level 16. We have a few people with 10 trainers, so they'll probably level up really fast, actually. I think more charisma, maybe, or leadership. We're fighting a Jatu army. We got 890 prisoners. Oh, crap. Wait, are they running from it? Can we help the Jatu army? If we could, it'd be really good. It's really key if we can. We can't help it, no. Oh god, they have 2k units here. The Jatu army had 890 prisoners, so that's gonna be added on to their 2k units. The Jatu army, dude, they're about to get taken out. Wait, we'll take this thing out first. Oh god, no. Oh. Oh no. Oh, I got caught. They have 3,000 units, dude. We have 790. Got a lot. Like, there's no way we're not gonna. We can leave right now. We just keep going, dude. There's no hill here, though. Oh god. No. Oh wait. <laughs> Yo. So Cadrian got caught. This is kind of cheap, I think. Like Cadrian got caught while they were chasing me, and so I helped out Cadrian, and they're not gonna help out for some reason. Like I don't know. I think that's kind of stupid, but whatever. Like game mechanics, I guess. We back off here. I think we're out of arrows. Yeah, we are. It's 500 versus 500 now. <laughs> We're literally just dismantling like one third of their army here. Uh, maybe we do back off. Yeah, maybe back. Oh, the Nolan was about to get speared, dude. Can you see that right there? But he didn't because we backed off. And that's completely legit. Somehow we just can teleport our units out at a whim. We got 
Such good relation with Kadrian, dude. We got, is that nine? Relation with Kadrian? Rabin is cooperative. He's upstanding as well. He only has 650 right now, but that's okay. We're going to let him go. All these units are going to go to a vassal. Yeah, 319 on Kadrian. Okay. We're literally getting chased by like 3k people. And Adiz is like, oh yeah, I will not tolerate the cowardly behavior. Okay, wait. Okay, wait, wait. They're fighting. Okay, wait. We got to do this one at a time. Okay, we'll do this one first. There's 1,600 units dumpstering on Caden right now. And there's 469 dumpstering on the Sarno expedition. We have 548. So we should... <laughs> this is so cheap. <laughs> we can take out this one first. And then we can go help Caden. Because magically, they're not fighting right now. They... Oh. Uh, all right, I think we back off. Oh, no. I can't attack because I'm too low. I think we do. Like, Lady of Sarno is not a big deal. We can hire another mercenary company. Caden hopefully will escape. I don't know. Good luck. Caden's done for, dude. <laughs> Rip. He got away, though. We didn't lose a relation with him, either. Like, he was fine with being the scapegoat. Singalian slavers for 10k. I think that's actually a deal. I kind of try the option, give them extra 2k for goodwill, but I don't think it's going to do anything. Additional mercenaries for your cause. Oh, God. I thought it was a mercenary company. We literally just picked up 85 Singalian spearmen and 59 Singalian horsemen. I think a bunch of temptress, too. That's okay, though. Having extra units, we can use them for, like, a garrison. Hire a mercenary company. Oh, the Snow Lion Brigade to do battle against the Ravenstern. You can only hire these guys if you're at war with the Ravenstern. I don't know where the rest of the lords are, but I think they'll just come over when they have enough troops. Oh, Oh, yo, here's King Gregory with 465 units, yo. Oh, baby, let's get him. King Gregory is now our prisoner. My lord, that hopeless Metan wiener. <laughs> Frederick of Menai. We'll throw the Slayers over here. We should take him out. A lot of these guys have no shields, especially the honor guards. So they just get shredded. I think I'm okay to just shoot from here. We're killing so many of them. My god. Like, those are all two unit axemen, no shield. Like, they're not going to last very long. We got a prisoner this time. Last time, he actually got away. 27k for Gregor. We need the money. We're taking a pile of diamonds. We need the money. They have a lot of people at Ponysbrook. Take Ponysbrook? Okay. Thank you, Will. If they come out and fight, like, I'm down. They left. They just left Ponysbrook. Alistair got taken prisoner by the Bax Empire. Oh, God. We killed 300 almost. Holy crap. I don't know how many they have, though. It's almost like this castle is worse than if they were just to fight on the field. Yeah, they're charging out. Yeah. They're actually charging out. Like, I don't know what they're thinking. We didn't lose a single unit in that whole thing. I don't think you give towns to your vassals, do you? I'm just gonna keep investing points in intelligence for these. Give a bunch of trainer and then I'll start giving them leadership. I love this layout, it's so cool. Oh, we can actually open the chest. So there's a regular Hawkstorm bow, a thick Raven Helm, a thick Eater Shield. So those can be any type of modifier. It's all random. And the last one I captured in Laria, there was two of the best modifiers. They added that feature in the most recent patch, 3.92. The problem with me taking points, bro, is that there's no units in it i have to like manage the gators myself okay castle alden is free so we're gonna get that alomar joined the battle the other guy was chasing like a jatu party though i think it's okay i don't think we need two guys we definitely don't oh there's 500 people here we might actually have needed them i should have the infantry go up to the very top of the ladder just to mess with them a little bit dude look at the scenery in the background this game is so cool all the detail that went into this game is like actually insane it makes you wonder like how long they were developing the original mountain blade for Maybe it was like 30 years. I mean, that's what's taking Bannerlord so long is like, it's just like their normal development process, you know? They probably knew it was gonna take this long too. They probably just baited everyone. All right, so we lost seven older rangers, three maiden rangers, two nobles. We're gonna give us the Roland. Okay, here comes blue. We take them out. We got 800 nearly and they have like 450. So you guys know this is gonna go. Hmm, I didn't see Falcon Dark Castle. We should go take that. This is so pretty. 300 units is nothing. They have a knighthood order station here. They're cavalry though, so they're not gonna be very good defending the siege, thankfully. Frederick's got four leadership and five in trainer, so I think I'll just give it to him. Onwards we go. Should I split them off? Like maybe they'll just piece it. We gotta initiate the fight. I think we just gotta go for this. Well, they're fighting a, cavern a caravan. Half of their vassals were fighting a caravan, like 400 of them. Yeah, that's cheesy, but screw it. They only have 283 units here in the garrison, although they did bring a good amount of units with these two vassals here. What is this? What is this castle? This is scuffed, dude. What? I thought Valor Shield Castle was scuffed. This is scuffed. We got that hill over there, maybe. We might get an angle. Oh, yeah, this is way better. They're spraying into them now. Yeah, from up here, you can see them a lot better. Oh, I lost a noble, but he was only wounded. Rain only has 600 units in it. We got Duke Aldemar. Oh, I caught him. Allowed me an honorable leave. So not only do we get two relation by letting him leave, we get five relation for this chat. All right, we're gonna let Aldemar go and uh, 
We're gonna take out rain. We have 344 prisoners here too. Oh, it's a siege tower, but it only takes 30 hours. Not too bad. Oh, yo, we got another vassal here. That's what's up. We're getting an army, boys. We're actually kind of killing a lot of them. Like actually dumpstering them. Oh, they're charging now? Oh yeah. It's weird, they do this on every siege actually, I've realized. I just usually, what I used to do is I would back out after I killed like 100 and I would just rinse and repeat. But this way they actually charge and then it gets easier after a while. Oh, Donovan has no fiefs now. I'm gonna defer it though. Is anyone in here? Kasim is in here. Kasim actually makes a good lord, I think. Cunning Noble. Cunning is fine. Oh, yo. Blunt tip lance. This thing takes prisoners, dude. That's something that would be really cool to get early game. I think we just keep pushing into blue though. Maybe go for Silver Edge. Vax Empire offers a peace agreement. We'll take that. They're not gonna release Alistair. Well, they got a lot of archers. Holy crap. They're just chilling on top of the house, dude. to donovan he has no thieves he's gonna like this a lot yeah they have six power draw now so we can actually give the custom troops and older bows Twelve thousand for auto my god yes elf wine we got five relation with him because we didn't capture him last time elf wine we're gonna let him go so we go for ravenstone i guess or we uh gregory's back up dude we should have sold him 360 more units we have to go through now ravenstone has 711 people in it dude oh wait they're getting caught we catch gregory yes Let's see we got it get all the lords here we can take three of their lords out right now yes we have 1300 units against their 689 this is not only their king but it's also two of their other lords as well all right guys that's it for this episode i'll be streaming the next episode sometime today at twitch.tv slash the rain where i'll be trying to wipe out blue completely thanks for watching i'll see you guys on my stream or in the next video peace out